what's going on guys? So apparently this is kind of complicated for people, so I'm going to go ahead and show this to you really easy, how easy it is to upgrade your standard, standard TX. This is what I use. I don't use the Pro, so if you're relying on this for the Pro, um, unless you have the correct firmware for the Pro, you're on your own. The, the basis is about the same for setting it up and how to activate the, the firmware, basically, but or how to activate the firmware mode for the controller, okay? I'm going to show you how to do this. This is for the standards so nobody's confused, okay? Give me one sec here. I'm going to get this prepared to show you guys exactly how to do this. Then I'm going to show you how to do a mode 2 calibration, okay? Really simple. All right. Give me one sec. So as you guys can see, I have my controller here, okay? And I've got my computer screen up here, all right? And I've got... 4.2.9 ready to roll as you can see with my version tool so what I'm gonna do is come over here to my controller I'm gonna hold down the video button I'm gonna hold the right stick all the way down to the right and I'm gonna turn my controller and I should get nothing but a black screen and a blinking red light that means I'm ready for a firmware update so let's go ahead and move this into position I'm going to open up the firmware tool click it's open I'm now going to take my uh, USB here. We're going to plug that into the side right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and come up to here and I'm going to hit connect. It should say connect to COM port 3 right there. You see it? COM 3. Connected on COM 3. The next step is go to open file. I'm going to find my hub with my Hubson version here, my uh, version 2.9 HBS. Click on it. That file is ready, and now I'm going to hit upgrade. Okay, we are upgrading. See the blinking light? Green, red, green, red, green, red. When this is done, it'll say upgrade success. See it? Upgrade success. This will turn green. Okay, we just upgraded the controller. That's how easy it was, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Unplug it. We're done. We're upgraded. Now we need to calibrate for mode 2. So let me go in the other room, put on my headband, and show you guys how to calibrate for mode 2. Controller is now ready to go, except it has to still be calibrated. Give me one sec. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have my controller in front of me. What I'm going to do is go ahead and push both of my sticks up into the left-hand corner. We're going to turn this on, and it should say calibrate mode 2. Calibration sticks mode 2. So what I'm going to do is go up, down, in, out. Up, down, in, out. Up, down, in, out. Up, down, in, out. Then I'm going to do a couple good rolls here. Roll them around nice and good. Let them go. Hold any trim button. And it is now calibrated. So if I hold this down, I bring up my firmware version. 4.2.9, mode 2 calibrated. Now let's test my calibration to make sure I've done everything correctly. Each one of these little lines should move by itself, up, all the way down, left, right, up, down, over, no fluctuations. Perfectly modified and upgraded, and uh, calibration for mode 2 is complete. Alrighty guys, I had a long day, I'm getting ready to take a nap. That's, uh, that's how you do a calibration for mode 2 and a firmware update. You're welcome. Um, I know Ohio Pepper was checking that out. He wanted to uh, see how that was done. I just want to show him how easy it was. I will go ahead and supply 4.2.1, the link below, and the entire Superflyer package for download in case any of you have not done it again. I'm offering it again. Just remember, this is for FPV2, not FPV1. If you have a pro transmitter, please remember, guys, if you have a pro transmitter... This uh, 4.2.9 was really designed for standard controllers. There are different firmwares out there. I just spent all morning with another YouTuber trying to get his pro controller or pro transmitter figured out because he uploaded 4.2.9 to it, and it was a bad, bad situation that we managed to correct. So don't make the same mistake. All right, guys. To the room. Give yourself to the dark side.